it's fishing. Oh, holy shit. I'm Jeannie. Hello, welcome to our reaction channel. Today we're watching Chernobyl. We're in season one, well, only season, uh, uh, episode two. Uh, please remain calm. Before we begin, uh, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share if you're new to our channel. And uh, if you want to watch our full length reaction to this episode of Chernobyl or the first episode, you can find out on my Patreon, link to in the description box. And I also have another YouTube channel if anyone wants to go check it out. Also link to in the description box. It's more like a vlog style channel. And uh, yeah, so the closer I get to 5,000 subscribers on my new channel, the sooner I will react to Star Wars on this channel. <laughs> so, okay, Doki. Um, last episode. Last episode. Last, last time on Chernobyl. <laughs> um... Yeah, that it's pretty much just the nuclear power plant like exploded. Yeah, the core exploded. Yeah, a ton of radiation is everywhere, and and the higher ups are wanting to like not think it's a big deal. Right, right, and keep it contained, and then not let anyone leave the area. We're gonna blockade it so everyone has to stay instead of evacuate and crazy stuff. But like the that. one dude, oh shoot, Diet Love, mm -hmm. cause he got sick and he he could see was like. Oh, Nothing, nothing. And then he saw everyone around him, and I think he realized, oh crap, this is mm -hmm. serious. Yeah, so we'll see what happens next. Also, you guys, I just want to throw this out here. Um, you know, we had heard of Chernobyl, but we didn't know like all of the details about. We're it. not big history people, and yeah, follow. And, and when it happened, I really wasn't. I wasn't even born yet. Well, I wasn't at a point in my life where I was even following the news. It was before social media, and I wasn't reading the newspapers or watching the news on TV. So, you know, what I mean, I heard of it, but not really knew the details of it because I just was kind of at a point in my life where it's like. Just yeah, and so I want to make it clear. We know it's radiation, so we're not trying to, like, offend anybody if we accidentally call it, like, chemicals or acid. We know it's radiation. Um, but sometimes, you know, you might use the word interchangeably and not realize it. Yeah. I think I'm referring to, like, that one dude last episode when he grabbed part of the core and his hand burned. Oh, yeah, I think because when you think of... I when, guess, you think, when you think of burns, you think like acid. Right. You don't think radiation. Or a chemical, not so yeah. much radiation. Yeah. But radiation burns, it's a thing. But uh, yeah, I guess in our mind, we were... And we didn't know. Like, we know it's radiation, but who's to say... We didn't know if there was also other stuff. Right, 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 we didn't right. Know. And so, I just want to throw that out there because, like, you know, I had this troll who I removed from, you know, I hid from the channel because they were being annoying. But, you know, they were, like, getting on our case about it. And I just, you know... It's like, we're not, the point is we're learning about this as we watch the show. Yeah. We didn't come in already being experts, and I hope none of you expected us to be experts. Well, it's kind of nice for us because then we can really give a good reaction because we have no clue what's happening. We don't know, we don't know fully really. what to expect. Yeah. But I did look up, because I wasn't sure, I looked up like the number of deaths, mm. um, and there, I guess there was like 31 deaths caused by this initial incident, mm -hmm. but that it affected like closer to like 4,000 people, mm. you know, but that's, that's all I read. Yeah. Okay. So I did look that up because it was going to bug me not knowing maybe, nah. like, I didn't know how big this event was. Right, right. I knew it was big, but I didn't know like how big. Right. But yeah, so I just want to throw that out there, so no one get upset with us if we don't know stuff, because hello, it's the point of the show, we're learning about Chernobyl as we watch it. Yeah. So, you know, most of y'all are Be chill. Be kind. Yeah, most of y'all are chill, good people, but you know, you get annoying people every now and again, and I'm just like, yo, if you're going to be annoying, I'm going to hide you from Delete. the channel. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Well, I think this person didn't like Americans. Mm. That's the thing. This person was just being nasty, so I hid them from the channel, but anyway, yeah, yeah but happen. just everyone be kind, be nice, you know. We're learning, so give us a break. Okay, let's just get into this. Oof. I'm surprised they're touching the clothes without stuff on there. You well, know what I, mean? I don't think they are prepared for something like this. They probably don't have any, like, protective gear. Oh. Yet. Oh. Not to sound like stupid, but these bad radiation burns, can they heal? I don't know. Maybe not for this kind of radiation. Because, like, when you get, like, like my breast cancer, I had radiation treatment, it yeah. heals. Yeah. But I don't know um, to this level and degree, maybe not. Mm. Yeah, I don't you know, know what I mean? If it's minor, it might be able to. I'm pleased to report that the situation in Chernobyl is stable. 
Prefect Brikhanov reports no more than 3.6 Srodkin. I'm told it's the equivalent of a chest X-ray, so if you're overdue for a checkup, it's 3.6 Rontgen, which, by the way, is not the equivalent of one chest X-ray, but rather 400 yeah. chest X-rays. That number's been bothering me for a different reason, though. It's also the maximum reading on low-limit decimeters. They gave us the number they had. I think the true number is much, much higher. If I'm right, this fireman was holding the equivalent of four million chest X-rays in his hand. Well, Mr. Legasov, there's no oh. place for alarmist hysteria. It's not alarmist if it's a fact. Well, I don't hear any facts. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, the man's an expert or a professor. You guys are just like paper pushers. <laughs> Dang, Mom. <laughs> Throwing shade. How does a nuclear reactor work? What? It's a simple question. Oh my god, it's not a simple answer. It's hardly a simple <laughs> answer. Of course. <laughs> you presume I'm too stupid to understand. I know how a nuclear reactor works. No, I don't need you. Dude! Take away from him. Oh, we Please. saw him. That's the neighbor. You want to get Please take her, please take her. I remember they saw. Please, please, please. 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 I remember they showed them. Yeah. Look at I... how beautiful everything was. I know, they're the neighbors. Don't have to. Look, oh. that's graphite oh. on the roof. The whole building's been blown open. The core's exposed. I can't see how you can tell that from here. Oh, for God's sakes. <laughs> Look at that glow. He's like, dude, That's I'm an expert, believe me. It's like, do you not Why see this? We can't see, we don't know. Get us directly over the building, Oh, my God. Boss. Don't use we my name. We directly over I it. Don't react to it. We'll be dead within a week. Dead. Right, listen to him. Sir, get us over that building, or I'll have you shot. Okay, does anyone else want to punch this guy? Oh, I know. Punch him. I really hope he if gets his. directly over that core, I promise you by tomorrow morning, you'll be begging for that bullet. Don't do it. No, he's playing around it. He's not going directly over. There has been an accident at Chernobyl, but I've been assured there is no problem. I'm telling you that there is. I prefer my opinion to yours. Oh, my God. I'm a nuclear physicist. Before you were deputy secretary, you worked in a shoe factory. Huh? Yes. He's like, bitch, I, I study. shoe factory. And now I'm in charge. Dude. <laughs> okay. To the workers of the world. Why do they keep making? I just keep hoping all these guys, <laughs> these assholes, get the, they'll get what's coming Why to them. Why do they keep making them all just terrible? Well, of course they're over dramatizing for yeah. this, I'm sure. You know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah. There probably were people back then that are like, eh, nothing to worry well, about. Still today, I know. people in power a lot of times. Professor Lagasov, I understand you've been saying dangerous things. Oh my God. Very dangerous things. Apparently our reactor core exploded. Please, tell me how an RBMK reactor core explodes. I'm not prepared to explain it at this time. As I presumed, there's no answer. It's disgraceful. Oh my God. Want punch? Punch? I know. <laughs> spread this information at a time like this. And punch? <laughs> Why did I see graphite on Oh, the... he's, because he's like... Graphite is only found in the core, where it's used as a neutron flux moderator. He's like, what? <laughs> Correct. Fahmy, why did the deputy chairman see graphite on the roof? See, because when he said it... Oh, they, they can't be. They're taking more seriously. Com see, he's starting to believe... I think a little bit professor. more, yeah. yeah. Is this truck already melting? No, they put lead on his truck. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> I think that helped keep him safe. <laughs> I'm thinking, what? People give me like, oh god, you too. <laughs> <laughs> they, they put lead on it to help. <sighs> that mask is so freaky. Like I know, it. right? Whenever I see like, it's not really a gas mask, but whatever it is, those types of masks, they're always so freaky. I know. I think because they speak of a scary time. Because you could be wearing that stuff unless stuff's happening. Yeah. Or you got a chainsaw or something. 
You got a what? Chainsaw or Wh something. Why chainsaw? <laughs> like, you know, those like creepers with the masks oh. and the chainsaws in the woods. <laughs> gotcha. Gosh, I was like, what? <laughs> like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, or something, you know. Leatherface. Yeah, whatever. Or Jason. You know. Michael Myers, all of them. So I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, Mom, Sorry. we're talking about a gas mask. How did you get to a chainsaw? <laughs> Or I'm not even know what type of mask that is, but you know what I mean. I know. Radiation I just, mask. I, I don't know. know. It's not through Rond again. It's fifteen <gasps> thousand. Holy shit! Just evacuate Pripyat. It's three kilometers away. That's my decision to make. But make it. Come on, I'll dude. Be told not to. Come on, dude. Is it or is it not your decision? I'm in charge. Okay, but be a good guy. This will go much easier if you talk to me about the things you do understand and not about the things you do not understand. Because this doesn't mean he does understand. And you seem like you were kind of on his side, so come on. Where are you going? Um, okay, what's Boron? I have no idea. And Sand, do they mean like Sand Sand? I'm assuming. I don't know if they're mixing it. Who knows? <gasps> oh, crap! Wow. Jesus. Yeah. Alien isn't a physicist. Well, he's a medical doctor. If he says it's safe, it's safe. Not if they stay here. We're staying here. Yes, we are. And we'll be dead in five years. Oh. It's okay. You know, he's kind of old. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're not like that old, but you know. <laughs> These times are coming. Ooh, that one guy. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, I was like, still off. Right? <laughs> well, dude. Listen to me, I need to speak to someone urgently. Turn around right now, or I'll arrest you. If you arrest me, you should take me to the highest possible authority. <laughs> <laughs> She's smart. Oh my god. The valve will be difficult to operate, so we'll need three men. We'll need to know the basement layout. They're not gonna tell them they're gonna die, are they? You'll do it because it must be done. Right, you gotta save tons of people. On an ankle. Where's Pilov? Oh god, I can't write their names down fast enough. Baranov. Yeah, it's making me anxious. I know. I don't know what's going out. <gasps> no! Uh, yeah, a week. Uh, talk about instantaneous. Oh, I don't know if they're going to die right now. I'm sure they are. Up, uh, this guy's been dying. That's so scary. Okay, so, okay, well, we met um, uh, Ulana, I think was her name. She's a nuclear physicist. And she, when she, um, well, she's smart, she's like, okay, hey, y'all gotta take iodine pills. Apparently it helps, I don't know. Yeah, sorry, I was confused by that. Yeah, and she, um, she went to Chernobyl, and that one dude's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to arrest you. And she's like, well, if you arrest me, take me to the highest authority possible. <laughs> That's right. So, so she was able to, you know, help yeah. him out. And so we met, well, we already met, what was his name? Le Legas Le Legasov? Legasov? His first name is v Valerie Valerie? Uh, I don't know. Or the one dude. Um, he's a professor. Yeah. And let's call him the professor. Okay, let's call him the professor. And he went to help also. Yeah. And he met the other comrade, uh, Sherbina. And he was like, didn't believe. Right. Um, I, was, I think it's like a soft, I'll say that. But he didn't believe him. But then now they're like BFFs. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think quickly, like, was like, oh, okay, shoot, it's serious. And we learned that the, the um, Rodigan, or I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but the meter is like 15,000. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, not three point whatever it was. Oh my People gosh. People thought it was. Right. Um, and like I saw, if he explained, you guys, for the record, I might take notes. For anyone that's new to our channel, I don't know, I take notes. So if, ever, <laughs> if anyone ever sees me looking down during the reaction, because I'm taking notes. And, and um, I only say that because someone was like, 
I don't know, meant last, our last Chernobyl reaction, someone like weirdly said that we looked disinterested, which I didn't think we were, but I thought we were totally engaged, but I just thought, I want to point it out, we take, I take notes, so I remember looking down, that's what I'm doing. And, um, oh, yeah, so some of them they might think you're not interested. Right, so I don't know, maybe that's why, but no, yeah. I'm taking notes. And he explained that um, that the nuclear plant, that you have fissions, something about uranium bullets, <laughs> <laughs> um, that they hit atoms, and it releases energy. <laughs> I swear I try to take notes, but I don't understand very well. Um, All and, I know is crazy crap. And that the graph that the graph around the core is what slows down the nu nu nu, nu something flux <laughs> neutron flux. Shoot, you guys! I swear I took notes. I just I it's confusing. I feel like I'm in science the class flux again. Flux capacitor. I feel like I'm in science class. You have again, taken and a I'm quiz. Just, and I'm like, okay, I'm trying to write down, <laughs> and I I don't understand. That this is a little too. It's I don't very complex. Honestly, you guys, I don't want to call it science, but like I guess it's science. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You know, all this, like, radiation and particles and atoms, all be honest, was not my strong suit in school. So I, get, I don't understand that stuff that well. Yeah. Was it your strong suit either, was it? <laughs> so I don't even remember. That was way too long ago to yeah. high school. What was that? College? What was that? It was a long time ago <laughs> for me. What, like? I don't know. The 70s, 80s? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and uh, we learned that that one firefighter Vasily, he was taken to Moscow. Yep. His wife was like, "Oh, well, the one, the one dude was like, we'll go." And she's like, "We well, can't leave." Right. <laughs> but they did evacuate the yes, city. Yes, thank goodness. Including oh. that one dude who's like still off oh, to yeah. sea. Oh yeah. Well, another thing is, I think once that they real and then when the winds were carrying it. And it made its way to like what was it, Sweden and yeah, different places, Sweden. and it's like holy like, Toledo. Um, Sweden's on the other side of the continent. It's crazy. Yeah, because uh, uh, Yulana, she said that she pretty much made it sound like it was hitting, you know, Hungary and Lithuania and like East Germany. Oh yeah, these are yeah. And, so it's like it's going all the way over. And I know Sweden, like I think. You, the Ukraine, oh, no, oh, whatever. But Ukraine is like over here, and Sweden is like way over here, you know. So. But the winds just I know, carried it's crazy. it. Yeah. I yeah. know. That's crazy. That is crazy. Yeah, and so that they made it take it more seriously. And then um, when they were when Lagosov and Sher Sherbina were showing up in the helicopter. Oh my gosh. Lagosov, he was like. You don't fly over it, and we saw what happens when you fly. Oh yeah, that? that's when the one guy I think really became a believer. Then. Yeah. yeah, it was so funny when they first showed up, and okay, the one dude's Foman and Boroshnikov or whatever his name is, the dude who owned the power plant. He, uh, they didn't believe what I saw. Right. Like, whatever. And then when Sherbina was like repeating what I saw, yeah, about. they were like, oh, actually. And then the the brush the cop dude asked Bowman, and he was like, I don't remember what he said, but I thought that was so funny. I know. Like, hmm. They're so dismissive to people who they think are who aren't in as high positions of power, but are so smart, obviously, and have better knowledge. But they're so dismissive of it. It's like, oh my god. But you know. Fortunately, they're learning. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then at the end, they needed three men to go into... Oh. Okay, I'm a little confused. Is this at the plant? Yeah, it's at the plant. So they had to go underneath because, like, there's they these big to, tanks of... They have to open them, right? Yeah, cause there's, like, these big tanks of water or something, yeah. and they have to go out underneath there and, like, open the valve so the water can drain out or something, I think. Yeah, because we want... And that well, wasn't looking too good for them there at the end. Because Ulana said that, um, that... That if these water tanks stayed the way they were, that like a thermal explosion would happen. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they need to like open them or something. And yeah, and I, so these, I don't, well, I, okay. I understand to a degree why they're panicking. You know, where they're at, their lights turn off, they're panicking. But before their lights turn off, they started panicking over something and I didn't understand. Well, that thing kept beeping louder and louder oh, and louder. That just made them nervous because mm -hmm. they were getting closer to more radiation. Mm -hmm. Or something, yeah. So it's probably just making them nervous. Well, obviously, yeah. Obviously. Yeah, and their lights turn off, so now they're in pitch blackness. Oh, they're so probably. Are they even going to be able to open the tank? I don't know. They can't see. I have they no can't idea. see to get back out. I don't know. Hopefully they pick back up with that next episode. Yeah. No, this seems like a horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just need the chainsaws. Yeah. They already got the masks. 
<laughs> Sorry. Those masks, man, are so freaky looking. I know. I mean, you feel like whenever, like, those masks, and I don't know if those ones are spec spec specifically for radiation, or if they're just, like, general, like, masks for, like, radiation, gas, chemicals, whatever, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I don't know. But, like, any of those types of masks are always freaky, because you only wear them when right. something bad's going on, you know what I mean? You ain't gonna wear those types of masks when nothing's wrong. So they're very unless you got a chainsaw, right? right. <laughs> but they're but they're very creepy, right? right. You know, because they're very unsettling to look at. Right. You know what they kind of make me think of? One last comment. You know what they make me think of? They make me think of those um like masks that uh, doctors would wear back during when the plague was happening mm. back in like the 1300s, 1400s. And they would wear these like creepy like beak like mm. bird masks because you know, they would stuff like flowers in it to help with the bad smell of the dead people. <laughs> so they'd wear these creepy like bird looking like masks and, and they were like, oh, they're so creepy. That, mm -hmm. They kind of make me think of that. <clears throat> anyway, okay. I think that was it. Lots of stuff. Yeah, and you guys, you know, feel free to explain any more stuff to us. Don't be rude about it. <laughs> be nice people. Uh, but yeah, if anyone wants to help explain anything, you know, just give more clarification on some of this more technical stuff, that, that'd be great. Um, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed our reaction to this episode of Chernobyl. Uh, if you want to watch our full-length reaction, you can find it out on my Patreon. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share, and have a beautiful day. Bye, Good night. Guys.